In this video, you'll learn how to complete your organization's financial settings. Let's start by navigating to the settings. From the menu, click Accounting and select Advanced. Then click Financial Settings. The settings you see here are for a Global Zero Edition. Other regions may look different. The basic premise is still the same. You can find more information about regional settings in Zero Central. Let's start with the financial year end. This date corresponds to what your tax authority has on record for your business. It sets the date range in your reports, for example the balance sheet. If you didn't select a year end when you created the organisation, Xero selects a date based on your region. Check your prior financial statements to confirm this date. If it's not correct, click Change and enter a new date. Next, complete your tax information to make sure a sales tax is reported correctly in Xero. The tax period is how often you're required to submit a tax return. Get in touch with your accountant or bookkeeper if you don't have these details. Set defaults for sales and purchase transactions you'll enter into Xero. You have a few options. Base it on the last transaction, add transaction amounts as tax inclusive or exclusive, or choose no tax. Log dates stop users from adding or changing transactions if the transaction has a date that is on or before the lock date set. At this stage, you don't need to lock any dates as you haven't converted any balances yet. You'll learn about lock dates at a later stage. The last item on this page is the time zone. It drives the date and time stamp on transactions, which allows you to see when users log in or make changes. When you're done editing your settings, click Save.